A major city in the northwest of England, Manchester has a rich industrial heritage and was at the forefront of the Industrial Revolution. This is a really great place to visit at the moment, with over 31 museums, endless food and drink options, and fantastic music scene, there are plenty of reasons to visit Manchester. And with a great tram network, free buses and hire bikes in the city, it's easily navigated. Manchester has been named in the New York Times 52 Places to Go list for 2024 and is the only UK city to be mentioned in National Geographic's Best of the World list. So I'm going to share with you 10 things to do in this awesome city and stick around to the end for my personal favourites. First up is Manchester Cathedral. It's located in the heart of the city and was founded in 1421. It was originally a church until 1847 when it became a cathedral. It has a beautiful interior and is said to have the best late medieval woodwork in the north. We went to a music concert there last year and it was amazing. Next is the Manchester Art Gallery. It was founded in 1823 and with over 46,000 objects of fine art, decorative art and costume, with ever-changing exhibitions, it's an inspirational place to spend a couple of hours. There are many amazing libraries to visit in Manchester, but the Portico Library is a hidden gem of calm in the bustling city. Founded in 1806, it has over 25,000 books and is one of Manchester's longest running institutions. The Imperial War Museum North is housed in a huge aluminium clad building depicting a globe shattered by conflict. Showing the impact that modern war has on people and societies, it has over 2,000 objects starting from the First World War to the present day and a multi-directional video installation. It's very thought provoking and it really hits home how bad war is. Castlefield Viaduct is a Grade II listed 19th century steel structure which was used up until 1969 and has been temporarily transformed into a garden in the sky with the help of the National Trust. It's a little slice of tranquillity in the city and I can't wait to return in the summer when everything's in bloom.
the Science and Industry Museum shows the development of science, technology and industry that made Manchester the world's first industrial city, with many interactive displays and daily demonstrations. I was pleasantly surprised to find out there were remains of a Roman fort in the middle of the city centre in Castlefield. Mamukium Roman Fort was established in 79 AD and when you walk around you can see areas in their original condition and as reconstructions. Full of unique and independent shops, cafes and restaurants, and vibrant street art everywhere you look, the Northern Quarter is a great place to wander around. It's also home to some great music venues, which host up and coming acts, so if you want something new, this area of Manchester is not to be missed. Within the Northern Quarter, you'll find Affleck's Palace. Lose yourself in this emporium with over 60 independent shops, which sell everything from collectibles, vintage clothing and jewellery. Affleck's Palace has it all. Castlefield is the oldest area of Manchester. It's filled with mills and a network of canals and is where the Industrial Revolution began and it gives you a glimpse into the area's history. That's why in 1982 it became the UK's first urban heritage park. It's a more relaxed area of the city with many bars and restaurants and the Castlefield Bowl which hosts many food and music events. The Manchester Museum is one of my picks and is known for its collection of natural history and human artefacts. It's filled with over 4 million artefacts, a fantastic dinosaur and fossil section, and even has a vivarium where you can see all sorts of living creatures.
It's huge and you could easily spend an afternoon looking at all the exhibits. So I can't wait to go back and see it in more detail. Bordsall Hall is my second pick and this is a hidden gem located in Salford. It dates back over 850 years and is one of the area's finest examples of an Elizabethan black and white half timbered house. You can step back in time and learn the story of the hall and some of the people who made it their home. It's an absolutely stunning building and I couldn't believe it was so close to the centre. So there it is, my top 10 things to see in Manchester, and all of them completely free. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up.